to you guys first video of the year and I'm so excited um so today if you want to see how I did this pissed off zombie makeup tutorial really affordable using tools that you have at home you don't have to buy all that fancy face paint and special effects makeup and prosthetics and all that shit you can just use whatever you have at home so I hope you guys enjoy this affordable easy Halloween look it is really time consuming so just take your time with it and get creative and use the products that you already have so if you have another request leave a comment down below on what other looks you want to see I'm gonna to try to get up as many looks as possible so yeah without further ado let's get into the tutorial <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to start off by applying a very pale foundation. This one from Hard Candy is actually a little too light for me. It's in the lightest shade. I think it's called Porcelain. I'm going to blend this all over my face, my lips, my ears. Pretty much anywhere that your skin is showing you want to cover this. Make sure to blend this into your hairline as well. Just so everything looks more realistic. If you are, um, if you have a darker skin tone than me, then use a foundation that is two to three shades lighter, and that'll help you out. Or you can even use white face paint. I'm setting this with a translucent powder, and of course, I meant to do this after the concealer part, which we're going to start right now. I'm taking a green concealer, and I'm just going to make my skin look really dead and rotten. Uh, so you can take any green concealer that you have. I'm applying this around the edges of my mouth, my nose, and just making my skin look so pretty and rotten. <laughs> I'm going to prep my eyelids and my lips with a primer. It's an eyeshadow primer, but it works just as well. Now moving on to contouring. This is very time consuming. This is where this look, uh, you know, take your time with it and just keep blending and blending. So I'm going to first go in with this really cool tone shade it actually wasn't cool enough you could even use a gray eyeshadow that probably would have worked better so I kind of regret using this elf contour palette anyways I'm going to sculpt out the face and also my neck um, just following the natural bone structure that you have I'm adding this into the hollows of my neck and along my jawline and whatnot I'm also going to be just roughly putting this all over my eyelid and underneath my eyes just to make my eyes look more sunken in. And of course we're going to sculpt and contour the nose as well. Moving on to the brows, I wanted my brows to just be very simple, kind of hairy and messy. So I'm just filling in with the brow powder and I just set that with a brow gel, kind of pushing my brow hairs up very messily. <laughs> messily? I don't think that's a word. Very messy though, very messy brows. Moving on to more colors, I'm taking the Beach Party Girl palette and I'm taking this soft purpley shade. We're going to work on well, just making ourselves look very zombie-like and just beautiful. So I'm going to put this in the crease of my eyes and I'm also going to bring this down the bridge of my nose and just basically contouring the same places we did before around the nose area, the edges of the mouth. This is going to give the illusion that our skin is decaying and rotting and looking fabulous as any zombie would. And just really bringing on those dark circles, don't worry about it. Just embrace the dark under eye bags. So just blending. This is very time consuming, but just take your time with it. And I actually found this very relaxing. I don't know. Blending and blending <laughs> is very relaxing to me. So again, I'm going to contour around the cheekbones, really making my skin look really sunken in as much as possible. And again, taking this down the neck, just repeating the same steps we did before. Again, I'm going to take a more bluish gray tone, and we're just pretty much layering these colors. Um, I did put this all over the eyelid underneath my eyes just to make my skin look very bruised and decaying. I also put this all over my lips as well to make my lips look very bluish. And again, I'm creating these angry lines in my forehead and around my mouth 
with the same color. Now I'm going to take a matte black, whatever matte black you have. This one is amazing from the Wet n Wild palette. And again, I'm just going over the same areas, just kind of adding more depth. Um, as you can tell, the black really helps bring the look together. Again, I'm just adding the black shadow and blending it out with a larger blending brush. Next, I'm taking a red shadow. This is really the only one that I have. And again, I'm just going over those same areas and layering. The red really makes the skin look more bruised, more uh, just gross looking. <laughs> I'm also going to be adding this um, just in random places, almost looking like blood stains. So I'm really dragging this down on the edges of the mouth. Now for this part, you can use whatever lipsticks you have. I'm using these two from Milani, and I'm applying a dark burgundy color on the inside of my lips and kind of smacking them together. And then I'm dragging it on the corners to make it look like I had a lovely uh, lunch. Yeah. I snacked on some brains and <laughs> made a mess of myself. Next I'm taking a brighter red shade to look more like blood and I'm just adding this in random spots to look like blood splatter. Yeah, looks great doesn't it? And a little bit of black lipstick as well. I'm also going back to that black eyeshadow and applying that all over to my eyelid and I decided to apply that on my lower lash line too. I'm taking this e.l.f. mineral eyeliner and this is a charcoal gray and I'm just popping that in my waterline. For the hair I'm just going to add um, some dry shampoo. Make sure your hair is greasy and messy because you are a zombie so don't worry about looking perfect. So that's it you guys that completes this pissed off zombie makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Check out the description bar, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. You know why I'm really pissed off? It's because someone stole my lipstick. Don't I just look so sexy? I woke up like this. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. You're gonna mess up your beautiful dark circles.